Throughout history, malaria has sickened and killed people across the globe. At its peak, affecting every continent except Antarctica. And for just as long, humans have been fighting malaria. The malaria parasite and the mosquito that transmits it have proven to be formidable enemies. But in recent years, dramatic progress has been made thanks to bold leadership, country-driven ambition, increased financing, and innovative new tools and strategies. Since 2000, some 7 million lives have been saved and deaths have decreased by 60%. Now, more than half of the world's countries are malaria-free and we are better positioned to eradicate the disease than ever before. So how can we ensure we are the last generation to battle this deadly disease? Social, economic and environmental trends are, in most places, already helping to reduce malaria. A new report by the Lancet Commission on Malaria Eradication, the first academic document of its kind, identifies the actions required to further bend the curve and achieve a world free of malaria by 2050. Here's how. We must improve the management and implementation of malaria programs and make better use of existing tools, what we call the software of eradication. We must develop and roll out innovative new tools, what we call the hardware of eradication. And malaria endemic countries and donors must provide the financial support needed to get the job done. We stand at the brink of a historic opportunity. By eradicating malaria, we will improve the quality of life for millions of people across the globe and save many lives in perpetuity, promote equity and reduce poverty, strengthen global health security, and contribute to achieving universal health coverage and the sustainable development goals. Malaria eradication is a goal of epic proportions and represents the best of human ingenuity with collaboration among all nations and bold, visionary leadership, we can be the generation to eradicate malaria once and for all.